our guys struggled a little bit with the physicality down low, and um, you know, just unfortunately, shots weren't going down, and kind of got away a little bit about what we wanted to do from a defensive standpoint. Um, so, uh, all the credit goes to, to coach and his team. What about your play in the first half? What were you especially doing? You were hitting from outside. Yeah, well, you know, my thing is, if you look at if you look at our, our, our the dynamic of our team. Uh, it's a team that really does a great job of sharing the basketball, moving the ball, and then guys that can, you know, just know, know their roles, right? Uh, I thought our guys did a really good job on the offensive end. I think what we struggled with a little bit was defending without fouling. Okay? When, you, when you send a team to the line 45 times, yeah, it's hard to win that game. So, um, you know, our, our thing is we got we got to get better on the defensive end. You mentioned fouling. You know, Trace Jackson Davis got the free throw line 15 times. What stood out about his play in the paint? Uh, well, I think they were physical. You know, like I said, I thought it was a physical game on, on both ends. So, um, you know, my, my thing is we probably fought, fought more than they did. You know, it's just physical. And really, um, it really seemed like the foul trouble kind of sapped your guys' energy in the second half. Well, I, I think a lot of things sapped my guys in the second half. And, and again, a lot of it has to do with, with Coach Miller's team. Um, you know, as far as the fouls are concerned, you know, you need to go ask, uh, what is it? Bill, Donnie, and Rob. You need to ask them what their evaluations. You know, I don't know who evaluates them, so you got to ask them what what they saw. Uh, what I was referring to was um, at, on the start of the second half, you had three players with um, three fouls, so it's tough to keep your depth in that situation. No doubt, no doubt. Like I said, you got to ask those three guys. Those are the guys that are that are their job is to call the game. So, sure. Whoever evaluates them, let them figure it out. What can your kids um, learn from this um, night? I think it's. I, I think what you're learning is you're playing against a team that uh, is three and zero right now in the country. Three and zero in their in their in their, late, in, their in their year. A team that obviously is very well coached, uh, very deep team. Obviously, they come in waves, uh, and their size and physicality. And it was it was good for our guys to. I'm, I'm walking away, uh, looking looking at our guys and, and saying if we, if we would just again stick together and not not fracture a little bit when. Our offense isn't going the way it's supposed to, and defend and rebound. You know, I, I'll tell you, I was really happy with the way our guys blocked out and rebound the basketball sure. tonight. I thought that was going to be an area of, of, of uh, that I thought we were going to struggle. With. So for for there to be a plus one in, in the rebounding category, to me, that's that's something now I can pull from and show my guys moving forward. That it's a plus, and now we got to keep doing it. Yeah, and it really seemed like there were a. A lot, of, a lot of moments that your kids could build off on to take them into um, conference play and no, you guys get there later. No question. And, and that's why that's this is going to be a staple of our, of our program is to play games like this because I think these are the games that prepare you for, like you're saying, once we go into eight some play. Okay, so now when we play the physical teams like the, 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 the Liberties the of Liberties the world and the, and the Lipscombs and, the, and, the, and you know, the Florida Gulf Coast, sure. you know, our guys, you guys have seen it already. Yeah. So. Year two for us, so for us, it's about just continuing to build the program. Yeah, and a lot of young young players learning a lot of lessons tonight from this situation. One senior on this team, majority of the team is three years old. Yeah, absolutely. So really excited about that. Uh, Jamari and CJ, you know, kind of up from the outside in that first half. I mean, what what stands out about the confidence they have in their game? Uh, to, to me, Jamari is just a confident kid all the way around. If you look at the last game they played in. People were worried about he was two for twelve from the field in the first two games, but Jamari had nine assists. Like Jamari figures out a way to affect winning. That's him. So if he sees that his shot's not where it needs to be that night, he's going to fight figure out another way. He's either going to gain you extra possessions. He's going to defend. He'll rebound. He'll he'll share the basketball instead of taking a shot, which will be good for him. He gives it to a teammate that has a better shot. So that, that's just Jamari. For him. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.